And I will be adding pictures and videos in this video. Pictures and videos in this video. You know, you know what I'm saying. Visuals. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and one year and six months ago now, I got my rhinoplasty procedure. I got a nose job. Now, at the beginning of that process, I posted a couple videos about it and didn't really post anything else after that. However, this update has been the most requested video in the history of my channel. Why? Because if you're doing research about rhinoplasty or if you've had one done, you would know that it takes a year to two years to see your final result. It takes a lot of patience for the swelling to go down. Now start with the top and then go to the middle and then finally your tip. But your true tip is gonna be the last thing you actually see. The healing process is just very slow. Most cases it only takes about a year, but some cases take a couple. Well, I'm not those cases. I've actually had some complications and that's why I was having to push off this video. For a few months there, my nose was getting bigger. It was getting bigger. And it was looking bad. But now, a year and six months later, everything is kind of finally getting under control. So, I feel comfortable talking about it now and letting you know kind of what I had to deal with in case you have one of the more rare cases too. So what did I have going on? Well, I had my surgery in May of 2018. Everything went well. After the surgery, I had a checkup the day after with my doctor, and then a week after, and then the month after, and there were supposed to be some more monthly checkups. However, I moved two months after the surgery. So I moved from Birmingham, Alabama to Napa Valley, California, and I mean, that's some distance. So I talked with my surgeon, I was like, listen, I'm gonna be out of the state now. I wasn't going to be able to make my other checkup appointment. I told me to call him if I had any issues. That was it. That's where the issues started for me. After I moved, I started to notice something odd. Post-operation, I was very swollen. It's normal, everyone's gonna have a lot of swelling, but I had like a lot of pain. Like, it was very, very tender. And I was told obviously the tenderness would go down, but it would take some time at least a good portion of like three months before it doesn't really hurt to the touch. The healing process for the nose is like painfully slow. How it should have gone was the top of the bridge should have gone down in swelling the first three months. And then the center part of the bridge would go down in swelling the next three to five months. But it's not till the end of the process where you start to see your true tip. Now that part takes forever to get to and you gotta be patient. However, in my case, something really abnormal started happening. I moved and I thought I was being patient. I thought the swelling was going down at first. The first month after the procedure, I did notice the swelling going down. At that point, I didn't like my nose. I didn't like the way it looked because it was so swollen. It looked very like bulky, but it was so important to stay out of my own head because I just knew like this one is gonna go down and I'm gonna love the finished product. So after we moved, I started noticing something. And at first, the healing process seemed to be going normal. I thought it was, the swelling was going down. And I thought it was going good. But then when we were in California, I just felt like it was getting uglier. Like it was getting bigger. So the center of my nose, the entire tip, and that part that dips down, I would really start to pay attention because I started noticing it seemed to look really bulky and bumpy and I was like, oh my gosh, like what have I done? My nose is getting bigger. And there were days where I would wake up and almost like your, your body bloats. Well, I would wake up and my nose would be bloated or more bloated some days than others. And that was something that really stood out to me too. So I really paid a lot of attention and I could tell this part was absolutely getting bigger. And then this part, with the tip almost started looking a little bit deformed and I was nervous. And this droop right here started to really drop down. It's hard to explain, but I'm gonna put my finger under my nose so that you can kind of like see the shadow. See how this kind of like dips down, which is normal in your nose. Well, it was going like, like really deep. Like it was making this really drastic U shape almost. On this side, I started getting a big bulbous just chunk. And this side, it almost looked like it was kind of like, 
I don't, I don't know how to say it. The skin was almost adhering with some weird deformity. So needless to say, I got really concerned. I remember calling my mom and being like, oh my gosh, mom, my nose is getting bigger and I'm freaking out. I'll take pictures some days and take pictures another week and it's bigger. And they're like, Lauren, you are being vain. It's not getting bigger. You're being very hard on yourself. Maybe it's not the result you wanted. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? I was not crazy because in October of 2018, I came back to Birmingham, Alabama. I called up my surgeon. I'm like, I'm back in town. I have concerns. I think my nose is getting bigger. Please see me. He's like, all right, we'll fit you in. So I went to his clinic and he sees my nose and guys, turns out my body produces too much collagen. So collagen is what your body uses to like heal. But what was happening is instead of the collagen forming around these wounds from the surgery and healing, my body kept building scar tissue on top of itself. So my nose was getting bigger. This was getting deeper. This was bulking out more and I knew it too. So when the surgeon said that, my body was building scar tissue on top of scar tissue and it was just, it was getting bigger. And it gave me such peace of mind to hear the surgeon say this because I knew I wasn't crazy. Like, thank you for giving reason to what I was noticing. So after the doctor told me this bit of information, I'm like, okay, immediately I feel relief. I knew something was going on and it helped me to know like the reason behind it. But then my next train of thought was like, well, what are we gonna do about it? You know, like, is this gonna be just a problem? He informed me that Put it like this. Let's say you're in the forest and you have a campfire. You wanna put the fire out so you throw some water on it. It kinda of goes down and then you have to throw more water, water on it to go down some more and you have to keep putting water on it until the fire is completely out and it's done. It's not gonna start back up again. Well, what happens if you get it mostly out and you don't put like the last bucket on it? Well, it's gonna grow and it's gonna be just as big as it was before. That's my nose. It was so comforting to hear the surgeon say like, oh no, you're right, you're not being crazy. It's getting bigger. We're gonna have to get this under control. But with it getting it under control meant I had to start getting these shots. What are they called? Kinolog shots. That day, the doctor gave me five shots in my nose. Side note, everyone experiences pain after surgery. However, because my body wasn't healing correctly, the pain wasn't subsiding like it should have been. Guys. These shots, so painful. So on Halloween 2018, I got my first set of Kinolog shots. One down there, one on the tip, one up here, and then both sides. Good Lord. So we're gonna do a little bit down here and a little bit right up here to help some of the swelling. Mm -hmm. Little pinches. You're doing great, another little pinch. Okay, you did great. I'm gonna do one more little bit. You doing okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit right down here. Little pinch. That's it. Uh -oh. And essentially, these shots were going to calm the collagen, calm the scar tissue from building itself, and it's gonna start to go down. And the medicine from these shots will last me 30 days. At the end of the 30 days, if I don't come in for that next appointment, the scar tissue will start to build on itself and the problem will grow back to where it was or worse. So you can bet your bottom dollar that I came consistently every month for those shots, but we would have to stay on it for a series of months before it would wear off. So October was the beginning of this process of monthly shots I had to do. And that's why it took so long to get this update video out. The first four months of shots, it was really just trying to work on bringing down the tissue that I had built in the time I was gone. Every month after that, we're starting to get a grip on it, but at the end of the 30 days, my nose will start building itself out again. I can always tell because this, this will start to dip, like my septum will start to dip and this part would always get like a bulkier build on it. After what, I think four months of these Kinolog shots, and he would do three to five every time. The first appointment on Halloween, he did five, so painful. It swelled up so severely after those shots. If I find the picture, I'm gonna post it for you guys. Thank goodness it was Halloween because I wanted to cover my face. So I ended up like put some face paint or something on. I think I was like a little red riding hood. I was just trying to hide my face because it was so bad. From that point on, from October to the next 
what, four months, the extra tissue that had built was pretty much gone. The tenderness began to wear off, slowly, but it began to wear off. But we still needed to continue the shots to bring in the rest of the swelling. There, there were a couple times where the doctor was like, okay, your nose is starting to cooperate. Let's see if we can push back these Kinelog shots and not do it every 30 days on the dot, but we'll like, give you six weeks instead of four. We nixed that plan pretty quickly because by the fifth week, my nose was significantly building on itself. So that fire wasn't put out yet, so the flames were starting to grow. So flash forward to today, still have to get these shots. Well, I think we're coming to the end of the rope. Like it's probably gonna be one or two more times. My last appointment with the doctor went really well. We actually were able to, for the first time, skip a month and it had built on itself a little bit, but nothing like before. We think the problem is really starting to come down. Now I'm getting three shots. I get one, two, and then three down here. And we're getting a grip on it, guys. <laughs> Overall, yes, that was a lot to deal with. The surgeon is doing everything right. The team, his team is incredible. My body just heals really weird. And from what he tells me, he's only had one other patient who has something similar like this. And she had to go in for three years. So luckily, I don't think I'm gonna be that slow of a healer. But we're getting the issue under control. Overall, I am very happy. Guys, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I am not like an advocate for like change yourself and get plastic surgery or whatever, whatever. I am absolutely an advocate though for doing what makes you happy. And if it's healthy and it's not harmful to yourself or somebody else, do it. Like do what makes you happy or what makes you more comfortable in your own skin. And this is something that I was always very insecure about. And I love the way I look now. I'm just so happy that like I made this decision because now I don't feel so insecure when I put on sunglasses or when I wear a hat because I think my profile looks too weird or the glasses wouldn't fit because of the hump up here. This has allowed me to really feel very confident in my own skin and with how I look and overall so worth it. Even with these drives up to Birmingham that I still make once a month, so worth it. And side note, the surgeon is so wonderful and so patient and uh, he's not charging me for like these shots that I have to get. Like he's in it with me. I went to him for the surgery and he's still there for me. <laughs> Here's my nails and the profile. So clearly there's a really big difference in my profile now. I used to be so insecure about how droopy and bulbous my nose was and now it's so petite and I love it. He didn't make any outside incisions so nobody can ever tell until I just tell them I got it, my nose done. There's not any like cut or scarring there. It's all inside the nostrils and that's awesome, exactly what I wanted. But everything's coming together, everything's getting taken care of, and overall, I'm very, very happy. Within a couple months, like I'm probably not gonna have to go take these shots anymore. It's all gonna work out. In my eyes, everything has a silver lining. Maybe the silver lining of this whole process was that I can put out information so that somebody else out there can get some help from it. So, that's my hope at least. I've got to go catch a flight. So that's all I've got for y'all today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the nose job or the procedure or the healing process, whatever, write it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. A lot of people have been messaging my Instagram and I'm starting to miss messages on that. So it's best if you just leave it below in the comments. But if you want to follow me on Instagram, here's that handle. And until next time, bye.